Well, uh, I'm not really sure what to say here. Um, I can't even think of the last time I talked to this guy, except at Comic-Con in person. Um, George had shown me that he blocked RJ for some reason, which I don't know why. Um, this, this is the most candy-ass, bitch-ass thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, I'm trying to remember what that... RJ did a post. I'm wondering if this is what it what it was. Um, RJ did a post where he was crying about he didn't send somebody a night letter or something, and he kept trying to convince people or some some bullshit. And um, RJ put a a picture of Dolly Parton saying uh, "Get off the cross" or something. It was something like that. And then the point that I I made is um, this this guy he can't just get to the point and tell you something. Okay, I mean you, you saw. I wish I could bring up that that Twitter post, but I can't because of this bullshit now. But I tried to read that Twitter post that he had, and it was a fucking novel. And when I read the whole thing. It could have been summed up in two or three words and, and gotten to the point. He could have just said, don't listen to them. Listen to me. It wasn't a night letter, and I hate the haters. That, that, was, that was what that whole novel was. He could have condensed it down and done it. And I stand by what I said on there because um, he had that PR lady. Why, is he, why did he even hire that PR lady? She got into a mess with Vicky, and then Vicky proved her point to her or whatever, and then we never saw her again. Like, all I see of her now is with neurotics in them, and he's out screaming his head off like a, like the town gesture or something, just, you know, I, I really don't understand this, to be honest. This is, um... This is, he, he's doing everything what he says he's against. And look, I don't even hate the guy or nothing. I met him in person at the con. I've actually met this dude. Okay? And I'm not trying to be like, even after this, but this this is not a big built dude, by the way, that the way he comes off here and all this, Okay. I mean, Gary from Nerdrotics was buffer than him. That's what I was shocked about. I was like, how the fuck is Gary buffer than this dude? And uh, I don't think he was packing either, man. Because I work for, I, I contract at the con there. So, uh, that, that would not... <laughs> He, he, he has a gun. This ain't Texas, man. <laughs> he has a gun there at the con. That's not going to end well. They'll ban him and get him the fuck out of there, man. They're not going <laughs> to. That's just not going to fly. <laughs> so, um, anyways, I guess that's that. Because uh, I saw he blocked RJ. Then I noticed my comments were gone. And I'm like, do you delete my comments? And then I click on this and I see this. I'm like, what the fuck? I wish I could bring up that post, man. I, I didn't even say anything bad to this guy that I can remember. I was just saying, why don't you have the PR lady talk? That, that was my point. He rambles on. When he does these live streams and everything, he just goes on and on for hours. And and just... He, he don't know how to condense down his statements and get the point across in a firm, fast manner. It's long-winded rambling and repeating the same point over and over again. And I, I just don't know what to say, man. I didn't care for Isom or any of this shit one way or another. I mean, just wasn't my cup of tea. 
but uh, definitely wasn't a hater or anything. I didn't really care one way or the other. I just got tired of these long-winded 20 videos of them saying the same goddamn thing. You know, I don't speak jive like that video I made. It, it's just, um, I don't know, man, but this is guilt by association bullshit. That's one thing I can think of is because I, I, was po posting with RJ on there. Um, I have no issue with RJ. He's been nice to me. I know Vicky and them don't like him, but I don't give a fuck. I, he's been he's been nothing but nice to me, and he got me a mortal mask on time. That's all I give a fuck about. I mean, if anything, he should be hiring RJ, not doing this. RJ gets the books out on time. That was the stupidest fucking move you could have done. And then he's sitting here begging for help. If you're an artist, if you're this, if you're that, come over here. We'll sign you up and all of this. And Like, here's, here's RJ, the one guy that could get his book out in a timely manner. Because I know, because I've gotten my fucking book. And he does this. This is really bitch-ass, man. This is really bi bitch-ass... Uh, snowflake shit, man. Like, I just, uh, th this dude is not a tough guy or any of this bullshit, man. I don't know why he keeps fronting and doing this stuff. And I mean, my God, man, y you want the ultimate, exp the ultimate proof that he can't take criticism. This is it, man. This is it. That's the only thing I could think of of why he's mad is, I said, why, why don't you have the PR lady talk? And that's a legitimate point. Why doesn't he have her doing the talking? Why is he out there screaming his, his head off like an idiot, making himself look worse every minute, screaming about haters and, you know, I can't, I can take criticism. Oh, you can take criticism, can you? Does this look like somebody who can take criticism? Well, I'll tell you one thing, buddy. I can't wait till the next Comic-Con because <laughs> me and you are going to have a nice chat, buddy. <laughs> and I know you don't carry, man, because <laughs> I legally do. <laughs> I've got the permit and everything, man, Mr. Tough Guy here. <laughs> I don't understand this dude, man. <laughs> what a goddamn joke. <laughs> Mr. I can take criticism, huh? Oh, well, if I have to choose between being friends with RJ and this dude, I choose RJ. Thanks for watching. Bye.